This segment is brought to you by Invisible Fence brand of Hampton Roads. Complete solutions for every pet. Oh, I love that. You know, guys, very few dogs will go into a regulation pool and swim just for the fun of it. Our next guest, Liddy Dottolo, introduces us, Mickey. He's a champion dog diver. Welcome, Lily. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Welcome to the show. And I'm so excited to meet Mickey. So, Mickey is a professional dog diver. Can you explain us what is that? Yes. Well, I wouldn't say he's a professional. It's a sport, um, okay. a competitive sport. And there are a couple of main organizations in this country that um, offer dock diving. There's the North America Diving Dogs, um, and then there is Dock Dogs Worldwide. And so he has he participates in events for fun um, and competitively for both of those organizations. Wow. <laughs> well, let me tell you that he can swim better than I because I cannot swim. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, the the most interesting thing that I found looking at some I information as we see here, his first jump was only seven feet, and now Mickey jumps over twenty feet. Wow! That's a huge, huge improvement. How did you get him to do that? So he is half Chesapeake Bay Retriever and half Chocolate Lab, and he has just always loved swimming. And he swims in the ocean because it's near our house and he swims in the pools. And uh, so he just had a drive um, for balls, for retrieving and for swimming. And that's uh, we walked by Neptune Festival in 2017 and he was six months old. Um, and that was the first year he, he participated because they were hosting a Doc Dives event. Wow, nice. that is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so cool. And all my dog wants to do is fetch balls. He doesn't jump like that. <laughs> oh, well, if he likes the water, you can teach any breed, any age, any size dog. Any breed? Isn't that yeah. shit? Yeah. No. Maybe you need to set up a jump. jump between Mickey and Kevin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, not only is he a dog diver, Mickey is currently training under the Greater Atlantic Rescue Dog Organization. Can you tell us more about that? Yes. Um, last fall, we... Uh, joined uh, uh, Guard, which um, is a Virginia Department of Emergency Management certified all volunteer um, professional canine search and rescue organization. So we um, were utilized as a state resource um, for uh, when the state needs to call out teams, uh, canine teams specifically for um, search, rescue, and recovery efforts for missing and lost people in the state. That's oh, awesome. That's yeah. awesome. That's such an important and also hard job. Yes, yeah, yes. there's a lot of training involved. Uh, we train every weekend of the year. We train all year long um, in all kinds of weather conditions. And um, it takes the average uh, handler and canine 18 months to two years to become certified operational by the state. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, so nice. where, where is the guy of the hour? Yes. Where is, where is Mickey? I want to meet him. Oh, he's right okay. there. <laughs> Mickey's right here. He's um, having a little moment of peace, thank goodness. But oh. I will call him up here so that you can meet him. Mick, come. Yes. Oh, my Look God. God. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Do you want to say hi? Him. Speak. Speak. <gasps> Oh, so you know, cute. That's all he has to do is just is just whisper to you, like we speak. <laughs> <laughs> that was a quiet bark. You don't want to hear his loud one. Well, Lily, where we can find more information really quick about this training? <laughs> um, okay, so uh, we have a website, guardk9.org. And um, we are all volunteers. So um, on average, we spend two to three thousand dollars a year in gear and equipment. And um, we really are in need of radio communications and um, high visibility jackets and uh, all kinds of gear. So if anyone's interested, um, we, we would love the help. Cool. Thank you so much, Lily. Thank you so much to you and Miki. Thank you. Thank you and for having me on the show. Thank you so much.